Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into yet another Royal Giant deck instead of Clash Royale, guys. I'm addicted. I don't know what to say. I'm addicted to playing Royal Giant. I've got a problem. Inject Royal Giant into my veins because I can't stop playing it. And today we're going to be playing RG Bowler Ice Wizard Tornado uh, Inferno Dragon. It's almost like a splash yard deck, except if you took out Royal Giant and put in Graveyard, and if you took out Fireball and put in Poison, you'd have it. Anyways, let's go and try this deck out today. Another deck for Royal Giant that appeared inside of the CRL. And I wanted to try it out myself. All right, so who better to try it out on than a cool kid himself with Tim? Let's get this one popping off, guys. The Bowler obviously giving you some massive value on defense alongside the Inferno Dragon. This is a fairly expensive deck with some of the cards inside of it, so you definitely can need to make sure that you don't do anything silly. He's going to opt to go for a naked graveyard right now. Tim is an absolute baller, an absolute savage. What in the world is happening right now? We're three wins into a Graham Challenge, and we've got Tim playing... What? What is he even playing? He just played Princess Goblin Barrel Graveyard. Okay, guys. Well, instead, we're going to just let this run down the lane. And instead of doing anything silly, I'm just going to go and slap down our Ice Wizard. Slow this Valkyrie down for some reason. Everyone's still very unsure why Supercell buffed the Ice Wizard. We're just going to slow this Valkyrie down to a core. Royal Giant going down right now, guys. And uh, that's going to be GG well played. What is Tim going to end up doing? He's got a Baby Dragon. We've got an Inferno Dragon, and yeah, I mean, this is one of the more savage plays I've seen uh, since I've started running Royal Giant decks, and that's going to be uh, tower number one going down to zero very clearly, and Goblin Barrel Graveyard not working out too well. All right, well, even though we're three wins into a Grand Challenge, still going to have to deal with a couple of savages. I'll go and throw down this Fireball to make sure we clean up that Princess. At this point, even if we have to sacrifice the left tower, that's fine. We can throw our Royal Giant right in the crack now, which is one of my favorite plays right now in the game, just because I feel like now, even though it, it its range is a little bit less. When you throw it in the crack, it almost ba basically locks on immediately, and uh, the damage is overwhelming with the 60% HP buff. Okay, well, we'll let this run on through, guys. I'm feeling pretty disrespectful today, so we'll just go and throw down a Royal Giant in the crack. Let those guards go in. Wow, he's got a Mega Knight coming down right now. This guy is definitely rocking an interesting deck, to say the least, right here. Mega Knight's going to go ahead and lock on. Royal Giant has already taken to over half of your tower, sir. Thank you for playing. Uh, Log's going to go ahead and get ready in a moment. He might even get close to taking this tower down, guys, but... Inferno Dragon's going to clean that up. Second tower has already been destroyed. The baby dragon going down. And Tim, you're going to have to meet your maker right now. Okay, well, Inferno Dragon might get a little, another tick right there. Just to tickle it down to 10,000, or 1,033, 10,033 tower damage. I know you guys say I got a lot of problems with repeating, or for saying ridiculous stuff inside of my videos, but that was not supposed to be one of them. Royal Giant going down again. Inferno Dragon going down again. Oh, the one card he, he could have played on that Inferno Dragon was going to be the Minion Horde, and he did it! Well played to him before playing that Minion Horde, but still, I'm even just going to log this down right here, let this Ice Wizard deal with everything else later. That's going to be tower number two. Bowler going down now. Minion's going to go ahead and sprint on in. Bowler going down over here. Guard's going down for this Goblin Barrel, and guys, that's going to be a very dead push. Uh, with barely no damage done. All right, guys, GG well played against Tim. That's going to be a crushing victory inside of his first matchup. Can't say we learned too many lessons from this one, except for don't troll inside of GCs with a with a very interesting deck like this. But that's going to be GG well played. Let's go and move on to match number two. Almost a three crowd. All right, 580, GG well played. All right. Moving on to match number two, we're four wins into a Grand Challenge. Now, as you might know, the average is three wins inside of a Grand Challenge. So if you get three wins or above, you can consider yourself an average to above average player, which is pretty nice. So we should be playing average, above average, and even better players as we go in. Not to mention some of these people that we're meeting at four wins might go on to get 10 wins or 12 wins. So you can really meet some good, pretty good people right here. Harlequin from Team Serenix right here is going to be our next opponent. Let's go and kick this one off strong. All right, RG, plenty of options to start off right here. I'd prefer to play defensive. Playing the RG just by itself and letting your opponent make a six elixir positive trade is not how you win games inside of Clash Royale. You really have to make sure that you're playing the RG when you have an elixir advantage, when you have some counter push potential, then you can play your troops, then you can start making some damage done or else you're gonna find yourself in a whole uh, boatload of pain. Okay, well kicking this one off right now, he's gonna go for the Inferno, or he's gonna go for the Baby Dragon on, or straight up onto everything we have. That's gonna be super effective and actually deal a ton of damage, so well played to him. Um, at this point, guys, we can go for a Royal Giant in front of our bowler just to try to get some damage in. He already played his Baby Dragon, so I'm hoping maybe he has Mega Minion or something similar. He's got a Knight going down right now. Interesting, interesting. I'll go ahead and opt in uh, Tornado all of this to keep our uh, keep our 
our Royal Giant alive a little bit longer, but still, we're not going to get that much damage done. And that Graveyard really rocked our world right there, and we got to find a way to turn this one around. Okay, well, the, the aggressive Graveyard push to start the game. You know, I've made plays like that before. If you ask a pro player, that's definitely not how you're supposed to play the game. But when it works, it works, and he definitely has a nice lead to this game right here. Graveyard isn't a deck that we play playing against too much with this, but we can make it work. I'll go ahead and throw our Bowler down. I'm sort of expecting him to do the same thing again. If he plays a Baby Dragon at the bridge, I'll throw it on an Ice Wizard really quickly. Uh, but he's going to opt to go for his Ice Wizard instead. Tornado inside of this. Actually, we're playing really similar decks, except for the fact that obviously we're rocking the uh, we're rocking the Royal Giant version. Uh, but here goes the Bowler. Fur Dragon's going to go ahead and lock on. Bowler's going to go ahead and lock on to this Ice Wizard. A couple of things going down right now lead me to believe that a Fireball would be a decent play. And even with that Poison spell going down, I'm feeling pretty good. Check out this little push we have going on. This is definitely going to need to be responded to with a Knight. If he doesn't have a Knight, he's going to play a Tornado, guys. That is interesting. All right, since that went down right now, let's just go ahead and be aggressive with the Royal Giant. If he plays a Knight, that's really not going to do much. Royal Giant's going to go down right here. Ice Wizard gonna go in, guys, but we're looking pretty dang good. Let's go ahead and tornado everything to this side just to keep that Ice Wizard off of our case. The Royal Giant gonna get a couple more slaps onto that tower, and we're gonna be looking beautiful as we keep this battle going. All right, Ice Wizard's gonna go down again. Ice Wizard on Ice Wizard combat right now. Inferno Dragon going in over the top. He's going to the graveyard this lane just to try to keep it down before the Royal Giant can or before uh, the other tower goes down right here. Let's go ahead and play our Royal Giant now, just because obviously he's gonna try to. Uh, potentially defend this and here goes our log right here to clean all of this up he really needs to stop Alex or, or stop investing elixir down this lane because it's a waste of time but still he's gonna play all of this stuff just to protect this tower guys and that is not a very wise decision the royal giant is still destroying the tower and at this point i'm feeling great about where we stand i can start punishing uh, by piling up a lot of our troops in the very back right here i can get ready with some guards i can get ready with everything else and you guys know what time it is when we need to play the royal giant really bad fireball of course guys uh, pretend that one didn't happen right there. Everything rocking and rolling. Here comes the Royal Giant. All right, Royal Giant's in. Royal Giant's going to go ahead and run on in. Nice play from him. That Tornado's actually going to do a really immense amount of work right there. The Ice Wizard Tornado combo, for some reason, Supercell decided to buff, and it's going to end up giving him some value right there. So with the Tornado, might even be better for us to go right-hand lane um, and just not worry about going towards the King Tower, or else we could lead ourselves to having a bit of a problem. We go and log down this Ice Wizard, just get a little bit of damage done right there. He's going to go ahead and go for a really aggressive play with the... Uh, Baby Dragon, Poison Spell going in. So much stuff going down, but guys, still, two towers helping out against that is definitely not going to work out too well for him. So let's go ahead and slap our Royal Giant out again. Ice Wizard going in. Check out how we tricked him right there by playing all of that. That's going to let the Royal Giant sprint towards that tower, guys. That's going to be one hit onto the tower. It's going to go ahead and be close to getting a second hit. That's two hits against the tower. Should be a third hit popping off in a moment right here with the Ice Wizard. Beautifully done for three hits, and we're rocking and rolling inside of this game. Now, continuing our process right here, playing uh, a lot of our troops. Man, that Inferno Dragon. Uh, going to go ahead and clean that up in just a moment, guys. Let's see what he does to try to counteract. Maybe go for another graveyard or something similar. I'm going to opt to actually fireball this. And I'm going to get ready with our Royal Giant as well. I'm not going to give him a lot of time to sort of figure out what he wants to do right here. Tornado is going to go down again, though. Well played. All right. See, there's the deal right there. He's going to keep tornadoing those when he gets the opportunity. And we got to find a way to deal with it. Now, I can play another Ice Wizard down this lane. I'm going to opt to play another bowler as well. Really trying to keep things aggressive and sort of fluid throughout this match. A minute and 30 seconds left. This one could end up being a tie if we, uh, if so happens to be it. But here goes our Inferno Dragon. Log's going in. He's going to tickle us for a little bit of damage on this side. But still, we got to find a solution right here to try to finish this one off. He's going to drop a GG, which is interesting to me. I'll go ahead and throw our Ice Wizard down right now. There goes the Tombstone. Going to go ahead and fireball this. Really need to get some damage done. The Log's going down right now. That's going to be GG well played. Played, and that's why he said GG because guys we beat him into submission even with the cheese he hit us with in the very beginning of the game we're still able to turn it around for a win and that'll be a five minute overtime victory right there well done all right five and one inside of this challenge you guys can see why people are playing royal giant royal giant it's no longer a meme guys let don't let your memes be dreams according to dream teams from coco right here because this this deck just works rg on the ladder, in challenges, everywhere else is having a ton of success, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. All right, Coco, what you got right here? Nothing to start off this game. Now, I don't really want to be the aggressor right here again. What can I do when I play my Royal Giant? I can follow up with an Inferno Dragon. I can follow up with a Bowler. He plays a Minion Ward. I'm decimated. He has made a five Elixir Positive trade. He plays a Miner on defense, or a Miner aggressively, and we lose. So we really have to hold on right here. I know inside of most of my videos, I don't actually... Uh, wait things out but i think this is one of the moments where we need to maybe he'll play a golem down a lane and if he's playing golem then we can go in royal giant the opposite lane get ready with our inferno dragon on defense here goes our inferno dragon right now 
It's going to be a little bit of an unfortunate play just because we can't uh, make a positive elixir trade, but we did end up getting a pretty nice trade. So we're down about five elixir, but we do have a healthy little push right here. Um, waiting on the Electro Wizard. Let's see what he decides to do. Electro Wizard going in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can really do too much else against this push, so I'll let the bowler clean up that uh, bad boy right there. I'll get our guards ready in the back, so these guards will be able to tank for the minions, and then when they go forward right here, we can actually end up doing something. Ice Wizard's gonna go down because it has to. Gonna be able to stop that push in its tracks, but definitely a treacherous little push right there from Coco, and not really what we wanted to start off this game. Now, since he's going so aggressively, guys, I have to play my Inferno Dragon right here against this, which feels awful. Which is a bad cycle so far for us. I'm gonna tornado this to the King Tower, uh, but we're still gonna lose about half our tower on the right-hand lane, so... Not not definitely worth under any circumstances at all, and this is this is going to be a tough one to come back from. Just unfortunate start to the game, unfortunate that we couldn't really make a push work, and uh, now with 1,088 HP left, it's going to be a little bit tough. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you're playing decks like this and you really can't uh, do what you want to do inside of them. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get our, our bowler down right now. Uh, I don't think he's playing minion horde or something like that inside of his deck but now that he's played a pekka i'm just gonna opt to go ahead and throw some stuff forward right here that's gonna make me play my ice wizard wow it's gonna be way too much damage to those minions right there i needed to get a couple more shots before committing that heavily let's use our guards right now against this guard's gonna be able to clean up that but oh wait if he plays electro wizard again we're in a whole lot of trouble Oof, this is gonna be tough electro wizard's going down it means we have to fireball this we're actually still okay because we can log this down and, and still get by but he's gonna keep being aggressive down this lane which leads me to believe that we can't sort of get by right there ice wizard going in so much other stuff going down right now oh he's gonna go for a crazy play right there which isn't gonna work out for him and we might have just evened up this game this is really interesting stuff right here guys i'm gonna play our bowler again bowler's gonna clean this up I'm sort of curious, is he going to keep going same lane right here? Is he going to start mixing it up? I'm going to opt to play our Royal Giant into this P.E.K.K.A., which feels a little bit ugly, but I have to do it. Log's going down right now. Log's going to miss the Electro Wizard narrowly, which really hurts. We needed, if we could get three, oh man, if we could have even just gotten two right there, that would have been glorious. And if he's playing this one intelligently, he's going to go ahead and go opposite lane in a moment, and it's really going to give us a lot of issues, guys. Guard's going down right now. Let's see what Coco's going to end up doing. Ooh, that's not going to splash the Inferno Dragon, though, so that's going to be fine. Wow, this is a game. What happened to all of his elixir? Guys, where did Coco go right here? Did just Coco decide to throw this game away? Guys, Clash Royale is so easy. Chief Cat, what do you think about Clash Royale? Guys, we ended up shaving Chief Cat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but look at this little... She used to be a big fluff ball. Now she's a naked little roll mat, the mole rat right here. GG, well played, Chief Cat. If you don't follow Chief Cat on Instagram, make sure you guys follow her Instagram, instagram.com slash, uh, no, it's like the Chief Cat, slash the Chief Cat. I'll put a link in the description below. Guys, fun set of battles today. Not sure what happened to Coco right there. Might have lagged out like I usually do at the end of some of my videos when I'm rage quitting. But guys, give this Royal Giant deck if you want a chance. Even against a deck that had P.E.K.K.A. Electro Wizard, a lot of counters. We had, we had it pretty even going into the end before Coco just gave up. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video today. I'm addicted to the Royal Giant. I need to seek help. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.